Question 25. This one is a repeated past year question. Oh, so you can check the description. Probably we will write down what that question is. But here we have a musical instrument using a long tube with a mouthpiece at the end. And one end is open and flat. Okay, this is the flat end. This one is like a trombone. Oh, or a wuzele, you know, the very noisy one. <laughs> okay. Anyway, a musician maintains stationary sound wave with a note. Okay, important information. A note at the mouthpiece. We'll draw a big N here. Okay, and an empty note at the other end. We'll draw a big A here. Right, the lowest frequency of the sound that the instrument can produce is 92 hertz. Lowest frequency also means longest wavelength. Teacher, how you know? Well, V equal to F lambda, the favorite equation for waves. Okay, so the speed of sound wave is constant. The speed of sound wave doesn't change, right? Meaning, if the frequency is minimum, then the lambda has to be maximum so that the velocity is kept constant. Meaning, if the frequency is very small, then the wavelength has to be very small. All right. Which different frequencies of sound can be produced by the instrument? Okay, so to help us visualize this, um, sometimes the students will memorize the pattern which will always be the faster way to solve the question. But let's say you totally don't know what to memorize. Lah, huh? So we're going to start drawing. In other words, I'm going to crop a diagram. Okay. So this is the instrument and you will have to start drawing. Okay. The instrument is more of for here for you to visualize what is going on. But most of the time, you just need to write NA. Okay. So if this is my instrument and this is a note and it's an empty note, the sh longest wavelength I can draw looks a bit like this. Okay. Because I have a note here, I have an empty note here. I'm going to take the length of the instrument as L because the instrument's length will not change, right? So from here, L note to empty note is lambda over 4. So from here, lambda is equal to 4L. But the frequency is 92 hertz. Question say one there, here. All right, so this is the longest or the simplest one. I'll draw the next one. Ding, ding, ding. I have a note here. I have an empty note here. How else can I fit a wave so that I can get a note and an empty note here? Easy. From one na, we add another na. <laughs> we add lambda over two. Okay, so it'll look something like this. Do, do, do. Like a fish. Okay, my bad. Shouldn't draw them so close, but you get the idea. So from one end, you get N A, N A. Na na. <laughs> One N A to another N A N A, but I don't know whether you notice or not. When I draw here, I add lambda over two. See, so initially I had this quarter wavelength here. This is quarter. Okay. Now I this is the quarter, and I squeeze another loop in. Okay. So I have this quarter, and then I squeeze this loop in. Okay. Ah. So, in other words, if I look at this, the length is now equal to 3 lambda over 4. Because, well, we add lambda over 2, what? 1 over 4 to 3 over 4 plus lambda over 2. Okay? So, if I rearrange this, I will get lambda is 4L over 3. And based on this, I can check in with my wavelength. Maybe I'll draw them a bit differently so you can see the relationship. Draw tomate. Rearrange it. Ah, like that. So we won't overlap. Nah, this is the wavelength. This. This. Okay, as you can see. So from here to here, we add another lambda over 2. But from here to here, 
lambda multiply by 1 over 3. 4L become 4L over 3, what, right? So then what happens to the frequency? If the wavelength is, multi is 3 times shorter, then the frequency will be 3 times sharper or 3 times greater. Okay, again, a reminder, V is equal to F lambda. So first you have F and lambda, then it can also be equal to, let's say the wavelength is one third lambda over three, then the frequency must be three F so that it is still equal. Okay, this is the relationship between F and lambda. If lambda decreases by th three times, by a factor of three, then frequency must increase by a factor of three so that when you multiply them, you will still get the same constant velocity times three. No? 92 times 3. Let me consult my calculator. 276. We have answer. Um, or rather, we can cross out. I mean, we can cross out these two. Bye bye. Okay. Next. Um, if you want to, you can draw some more. Sometimes for paper 2, especially, the drawing is very important. So from 1 and A to 2NA, what would be the next pattern? 3NA, from na to na na to na na na. <laughs> so let me chop up the wave accordingly, or roughly. We're going to get a shape that looks a bit like this. Okay, so I'm going to squeeze more and more wave in. So again, from here to here, I add another lambda over 2. So right now, the length can fit five quarter wavelength. Okay, what I like to do is I just count the number of nanas la. <laughs> because one n to a is lambda over four. N to n is equal to antinode to antinode, which is lambda over two. This is a nice way to count. Or you literally draw the wave law. This is four over four lambda. Then we plus another quarter. Okay, however works. Visual person also can. Just count the NA and A also can. So from here, you will realize that your lambda is actually 5L over 4. I know, wait, sorry, 4L over 5. A. Well, from here to here, the lambda times 1 over 5. So what happens to the frequency? The frequency will times 5 flow. So for this one, the frequency from here to here would times 5. Let me change color for you. From here to here, the lambda times 1 over 5. So this one becomes 92 times 5. Okay, so this 276 is 92 times 3. This is 92 times 5, which will be 460. Okay, so the frequency that we have is 92 times 3 times 5. So let me summarize. The wavelength is shorter by three times, by five times. What will be the next one? Seven times long, so smart. The next one, eh? nine times long, so smart. Continue. Okay, you see a pattern already. Meaning the frequency will be 92, and then three times of 92, five times of 92, 7 times of 92, 9 times of 92, dot, dot, dot. Okay, lor. So my recommendation is either you already do enough questions that you know the pattern. For example, I know that this is odd, odd harmonics. So all the odd frequency, you will get a loud sound. Okay, but if you cannot, then slowly draw. Start with the first one. Normally, they will always start with the longest wavelength because that's the simplest one, the 1N, one 1A. One and then you just keep 
adding lambda over 2 you add lambda over 2 you add lambda over 2 try to figure out the relationship between the length of the instrument or the string with the wavelength lambda with frequency because whatever happens to lambda, the inverse will happen to frequency. Lambda divided by 3, frequency will times 3. Alright, so that would leave my answer to be C. Stationary wave, we need to practice so that you're familiar with the pattern.